and it's been just over a month since Russian troops invaded Ukraine. And as the war carries on, people across the Quad Cities are stepping up to help in any way they know how. Tonight, News 8's Maggie Wedlake reports on the DeWitt Police Department's efforts to provide tactical gear to the men on the ground in Ukraine. It's our top story tonight at 6. If they do a lot of things, it's news. 23 vests just like this one are now on their way to Ukraine. It's a small part, but uh, small things make big changes. So They're leaving from the DeWitt Police Department, headed to the front lines for soldiers currently fighting off Russian attacks. It gives the opportunity to save lives um, and help those that, that may not have that experience. It gives them a second chance and, and the ability to, to keep their freedom in their country and, and to survive. So. The vests have reached their warranty date here at the police department, which means they can't be used anymore. But it doesn't mean they're useless. We replace them every five years uh, with the warranty date. So there's still a lot of usable life in them, and uh, it's great for them. Governor Kim Reynolds put out a call for tactical equipment from law enforcement agencies across the state, DeWitt being one of 19 departments to respond. The heart of the people of Iowa is unmatched, I think. I put us up against anybody in the country as far as the heart of the people here in Iowa, and I think that's just so important and, and that we're willing to give and, and do that. Protective helmets like this one were also collected. In total, 714 ballistic vests and 146 protective helmets from the heartland. Alongside that gear... Uh, thoughts and prayers are with the, the folks in Ukraine. And Maggie Wedlake, WQAD News 8. And the state of Iowa is working with the Consulate General of Ukraine in Chicago to facilitate the donations and shipments to Ukraine.